Hi Golf Magic, James Whitmore here at Wellingborough Golf Club and today I'm going to talk about that classic over the top move. Um, now again we hear a lot of this banded around and it's obviously a very common thing in club golf is you know I've come over the top we hit that big shot you know there's two movements there from a from a perspective that it will go either left of the target being a right hander go straight left or we get the other one that starts left and swings off left to right big slices hard to control uh, so what I'm going to give you today is just a couple of sort of key little drills and points that can hope you help you understand the feeling of trying to get away from that over the top movement so a typical type of look to a, an over the top feel is I'll kind of you know someone will get to the top of the backswing and then bang this happens right shoulder right arm get really in there we get to this position here this is pretty pretty common this look now and there's bang big steep divot big across waving the ball goodbye so what I've got I've just got a couple of little little things here that I'm just going to kind of go through with you now so the first one is bottle of water all right so what I want you to do I want you to kind of get the bottle of water get it about half full three quarters full take the lid off now what we need to do I want you to kind of get yourself in golf posture as such uh, and with your trail arm I want you to kind of wind up imagine you're making a top of a backswing movement here now so if you think about what would happen if I do my over the top feel as I'm going to come down now bang boom in there water will start to fly out the bottle that's a visual as a feel so what I'm going to try and do I'm going to purposely in my mind when I get to the backswing I'm going to feel like I'm going to keep that lid pointing to the sky for as long as possible so I'm going to keep that lid coming down I'm going to come down on my swing bang so there we go so the lid is almost um, up to the sky and what that's done in turn is keep this arm back it stopped me from flinging this way and again it's a feeling it's feedback we need that whenever we're trying to get away from a, a pattern or a constant feel or you can't get away from it we need that sort of visuals and that feedback so having this there keeping that lid up to the sky then turning all the way through keeping it up the whole time so I'm keeping it up keeping it up keeping it up bang I'm turning through the other side again it's just dead simple you don't obviously need to be at a range or anything to do that uh, you can do that any way you like people might look at you a bit strange but you can do it second one equally is uh, a bit weird waiter okay so again I wouldn't recommend doing this on concrete because you probably smash a few plates if you struggle with this over the top movement uh, so get yourself on grass or on a carpet or somewhere where there's nothing anything delicate or dangerous so I'm gonna get myself set in golf posture again I'm going to take the plate uh, on the back of my hand there um, get myself ready and I'm going to kind of wind up in my trail arm get to my backswing and what I'm going to feel like now is I'm going to keep that plate so imagine that the food's on my plate on the plate okay so I'm going to keep that on I'm going to keep it down keep it down keep it down bang so I'm coming underneath look at that angle there if I was to do the other one which is obviously what we don't want to do if I come in it's very easy and then I'm like oh god I'm gonna lose it bang I'm over the top and I'm done it's out of my hand and again it's that feel it's that feedback and it's what we need to try and get away from it so kind of up there wind this up keep the plate on keep the plate on bang you can look at the difference in pattern of how my body's working there making that movement coming underneath and effectively it's a bit more on the inside as a feel as like I say as opposed to that one there okay the last one again great for visuals okay so now I'm going to take the golf club and the I've got an alignment stick here so I'm just going to put it down so it's not touching the floor of the stick just probably about up to the hosel so you've got that sort of amount on the on the bottom end of the of the butt end of the golf club so I'm going to put the club kind of in my in my lead arm here I'm going to make a backswing position obviously the plate and the water have been in my trail arm this is now in my lead arm I'm going to make a backswing position here now and what I'm going to do again if you think about what can happen now if I get that feeling is boom so this so the bottom of the alignment stick now tends to work on the inside of the golf ball if I do it like the shaft gets very steep gets very upright now I'm in trouble I'm bang in trouble there so I want to kind of keep that up and I'm going to keep that alignment stick pointing 
down towards the bull. Down towards the bull, and on the outside of the bull, as long as I can. There, so that's changing the sort of the direction of the golf club, and that's going to kind of help me bring that through. And then I'm up and out, finishing at the target. From there, away from that, boom, no good, in there. Boom. Just trying to get that feel, trying to get that feeling as I'm coming through. And again, all of these, all of these little drills, them three little drills there, are all just going to help you stop that feeling there. Just by me doing that now, I feel straight away, I've got way more chance of getting that club kind of on the right sort of path. And I'd say you do them drills, and again, I always like to see people just kind of do this in a measured way, so not at full speed because it's very hard to process it when we're swinging you know, at full pelt. So I just kind of do it in a measured way, get that feeling, half a swing, trying to get that feeling, trying to get that movement going through, and I'm at the target. Okay. Okay, so if you give these uh, tips a try, and if you like what you saw, uh, please leave a comment, give us a like, and uh, we'll see you again.